Hey, welcome back. Today you're going to get a detailed inside look at replacing the power supply on the Akai S1000 sampler. Before we get started, make sure to hit subscribe so you have this video at your fingertips. First things first, unplug. Next, we're going to take the screws off and remove the top of the case. Just go around all the screws that were taking a look at here and we're gonna take all those out. All right, so the top's off and here's the power supply. It's screwed into the case with these two mounting screws. We're gonna get lots of detailed views inside in this video today. All right, we'll get some nice zooms in with looking at these capacitors and lots of close-ups. All right, so that didn't look too bad, but we'll be switching it out anyways, and we'll be, we'll be taking that whole part out. These power supplies do get old and one easy solution is getting a drop-in replacement. Close up you can see the plus and the minus. For the DC, you can also see FG for frame ground. Might as well confirm this with the multimeter because we're not in a rush here. We'll just measure resistance between FG and the metal case and you should get zero ohms or so like I did. And then of course you can see AC, AC over there. That's going to that little board that is below the power supply right now. And one last look around, this old power supply is going in the trash. I don't really see anything that's standing out as a problem. Lots of clearful looks, but hey, everything's gotta go at some point. So we'll just uh, say goodbye to this one. Everything looks pretty good. Actually, as far as I can see, I don't see anything disgusting or bad. All right, so it's a good idea to make a note of all these different wires and where they're going to go. And we'll be tracing these over. These yellow and greens. We got the white and blacks. Sorry, the red and blacks. And we got the red and whites. So the yellow and greens, they go over here. And this was for the internal SCSI, SCSI drive. That's not present here. Uh, just It's just uh, loose in the case, but when we get that hooked up, we're going to put yellow back to positive and green to negative. Behind it, we see the red and the black for DC. That's going to go over here to the big PCB to the bottom left that does all the work. Over here, this little PCB is for AC, and you can see what's going on over there. But here's red and black on the main one, main board. All right, so we're going to take another look around here. Give it a turnover. You can see the red and white going to that little board over there. It's our AC. Just going to note the orientation of everything.
All right, so just for fun, since we're just taking a look around, here's some lots of shots here. The firmware ROMs. We've got some other ROMs over here. Uh, this is a this is a modification here where you see there's some silicone or some glue or something like that. On the right is the SCSI adapter, and there's I believe some memory boards over there uh, that you might have just seen to the right of the screen there. But that's the SCSI SCSI adapter. And our floppy drive, original specifications here, the floppy drive with its ribbon connector. All right, let's take a look at these other things. So these are the main knobs that you'd be using for the sampler, the potentiometers for recording level and main output, the data and the cursor wheels. And then I'm looking at the back of the LCD right now. Here's that floppy drive again. All right, we're going to hook everything up and reverse the process, and that's what's left. Hope you enjoyed this grand tour. Hit me up with any comments, and thanks for watching.